What's up everybody? We're out in my shop today. We're gonna to do a video showing you how we can take a cardboard template of a splitter, basically any size and shape you may want for your specific car, and turn it into a reinforced carbon fiber panel. So first things first, once we get your cardboard template, we go ahead and we trace it out onto our core material. This is a structural foam core specifically for the infusion process. If you're vacuum bagging, you can use like a honeycomb or something. Um, but keep in mind, a splitter can produce several hundred pounds of downforce. So you're gonna want something that can, can take that loading. If it's just a layer of carbon backed with fiberglass, it's gonna be flexible, it's gonna be flimsy, you're gonna need a million supports all around it to, to hold it where it needs to be. So we're gonna go ahead and get this traced out and cut out. All right, so now that we have our panel cut, we're gonna go ahead, take it to the dust room uh, because we're gonna smooth out this front edge uh, with sandpaper and give it a little bit of a, a bevel as well. All right, so we got our core cut. You probably see it over there ready to go. We're getting ready to lay it up. We're not gonna cover our exact layup. If you're interested in how to infuse a carbon fiber panel, I'll put a tag up here of a video we did about a year or two ago. Um, from this point on, it's pretty much a basic infusion just on a very large panel. All right, so we're all set up, ready to go. You can obviously see the outline of the, the part. Uh, we got our carbon, our core, all of our consumables. You can see the uh, peel ply, the green flow net, and we're ready to start injecting epoxy. All right, so we just got done demolding our panel. Here it is in its raw form. Um, we still have to just trim you know, the, the edges off and everything. But before we do that, we're gonna do a little bit of a um, strength demonstration by placing it across these two wood blocks. These blocks are 50 inches apart, so you can kind of get an idea of the strength you can get out of a panel that's constructed in this way. So, there you go. So, so what this allows you to do is get away with less mounting points. You don't have to run um, you know, front splitter rods or anything. If you wanna do some sort of quick removable splitter, again, with less mounting points, that's less weight, less fab work and everything to run a splitter that's constructed um, you know, to this strength or this, this level of quality. All right, so here you can see the carbon fiber panel finished up, made from the cardboard template that was shipped to us. So one last thing to note is once we make this carbon fiber panel for you, you can choose to upgrade it and outfit it with um, some splitter tunnels. I'll put a link in the video up here going to our splitter tunnel video to describe kind of what they are and how they work if you aren't quite familiar with these. Uh, but we have three options, the straight one, the small curved, and not pictured in the video is a large curved one. So one last thing to note is just imagine that this bumper cover was mounted to the car. You're gonna have a gap 
between the bumper cover and the splitter blade. You're going to need some sort of lip or air dam to fill this gap right here. Now you may get lucky and the ride height of your car and where you want to put the splitter just butt right up to each other and, and you're good. But more often than not, depending on the ride height of the car, where the height you want to mount this and everything, there's going to be a gap here that you would need to fill. Mounting this splitter blade is up to you just because, again, bringing in ride heights, stuff's going to be different. You could have brake ducts, different radiator, some oil cooler or power steering cooler back here. You're going to want to run some sort of bracket off of the frame rail down to the panel rigidly. But again, that's kind of up to you for your specific situation. All right, so there you guys go. Hopefully this kind of uh, showed you how easy it is to get a carbon fiber splitter made uh, for your car once you just send us a cardboard template. We can kind of just take it from there. Again, any links to the videos mentioned, uh, parts, website, how to contact us with questions, anything like that will be in the video description below. Thanks for watching.